Hi everybody, Joshua here with the Heavy Piano YouTube channel. I had a patron request for Natalie Merchant's One Fine Day, and so this will be the piano tutorial for my version of that arrangement. So let's see here. This is based on her performance. I think the one version I could find that was decent on YouTube was a um, old performance on um, Rosie O'Donnell's show or something. I'll link to that below. But uh, so this will be based on my piano solo improvised version. Um, so I'll give you the chords and melody, and I encourage you to go find some other resources like Open Studio or some places like that uh, for more information on jazz voicings and how to voice things and how to make chords pretty. Um, I'll just kind of give some basic overview of the song. Um, but just so you know where I'm coming from, my frame of reference will be my uh, improvised version. So let's see here. On the introduction, we have a C sharp diminished to B minor. And then it's like an E minor 7. And then it's an A with a flat 9. So A7, flat 9 is that, if you want to call it like a B flat. Let me play that much. So all I'm doing is, it's like a smattering. I'm not trying to make it real um, uh, precise as far as uh, rhythmically precise. I'm just kind of like trying to like, like, a, like a pattern or smattering of, of notes there. And then that brings us to our first chord. For the verse is D major. You go into D major seven, G major seven, G minor nine. And it's like F sharp minor, B minor, E minor, A sus. D major, B minor, like, a, like an E9. These voices are really basic. And there's an A7 flat 9 again. I say basic. I'm, I'm basically staying like in my root position chords. I'm not voicing them um, necessarily in like a jazz way. Um, and it's kind of how I played it. Again, I, this is why I encourage you to go take my version, take, take these chords here and try to find some... Um, different voicings maybe that maybe will fit your style better. So we're back on the verse again. Back to the D. D major 7. I noticed her vocals kind of went to that C natural. G major 7. Is that G minor 9 again? F sharp minor 7. Or minor 9. B minor E minor, A sus, and this time our ending is going to be a little bit different. D, G, D. You could even do like a D7 going into the next chord. So now we have like our our B section. It's A minor. It's just A minor to D. We have that natural F in the melody. G. It's a very obvious like G major 7. There's lots of different ways to voice that. If you add the ninth in there and kind of make it like a D um, triad over G, you get that kind of sound. You know, there's lots of ways to voice this, right? And then we have our F sharp minor to E7. And then I kind of heard like a, like a B minor again. So after the F sharp minor, you have E, B minor, E, 7. And so I get an A, A sus, to A. And then we have our last verse, back on the D. So 
we're going to repeat these last four chords, F sharp minor, with one caveat. A minor, this time, it's E7. Now we're back to the F sharp minor again. B minor, here's our E minor again. A sus. And here's our little outro lick, or our outro line. D minor, B minor, E minor. Here's our A with a flat nine. Yeah, end on the one chord with the D major seven. So, real pretty basic overview of the chords. It's a really jazzy take on on this, and it's kind of done in a way that Natalie Merchant, you know, it's, it's her own style. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna I'll put some links in the description below talking about uh, voicing chords. Um, again, I'm showing some really basic voicings here. I'm not doing a whole lot of modification, but you can kind of see what I'm doing. Especially, so like for B minor, right? So here's here's our basic B minor tr triad. We can take that and modify it. You know, you can, um, let's see here, B minor. One of the, a really cool voicing. I don't know how you'd make it fit, but you know, that open fifths kind of sound. So you do fifths, 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 and then you do your minor third. So there's, so I would consider that a lot better jazz voicing than, than that, right? You get all those harmonics in there. So, I mean, how would you go from like, the D. So let's say our voicing is. Yeah, you know, so here, here we do this kind of voicing, but we have these double G sharps. So, I mean, there's a really cheesy classical player kind of jazz voicing there. Um, let's see again, coming out of that. And again, it's not what you play, it's how you play it, but there are some ways you can add notes or change your voice and so it'll make it sound a lot more interesting. Um, let's see here, and another, let's see, you take that same idea of the fifths and apply it to the F sharp minor, you know, whenever you use it. And then going to the... So there's some ideas there to spread things out using the idea of like fifths or things like that. Um, but I hope that's helpful. Chords and melody for Natalie Merchant's One Fine Day. Um, yeah, check out my version to see kind of where I'm coming from. Any questions or comments, leave them below. A big thank you to my patrons on Patreon for supporting the channel. And everybody, thank you for all your kind comments. Um, this is a fun little project to share music on this channel. Oh, I should say, <laughs> jumping back into the description, um, a really neat way to, to voice a sus chord is take your triad, right, and just move it um, down a whole step. And then I think usually that first inversion, or maybe second inversion, kind of gives you a nice voicing for sus. So if we're coming at the end of, um, let's see. Just use those G triads over the A to voice your A sus. A little, a little trick I use to try to uh, voice sus chords in jazz. So anyway, again, thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.